welcome to a new session we are going to discuss three important concepts in one single example they are stored procedure transaction processing and exception handling for that i am going to consider a table say select the table name is student it has two attributes id and name here id is a primary key let us try entering some values into it a row into it id2 is already there and i am trying to enter it after entering inserting data i would like to display the results fine so it did not allow me to enter because id is a primary key okay so program got stopped now let us handle it through an exception so begin try let us begin a transaction as well in this transaction let us try to enter insert into student id and name their values are set to and priya insert into student id name values to and priya okay now if everything goes well commit transaction else and try block and go to catch block how do you go to catch block begin catch block in catch block print error message and roll back the transaction i should close this function okay and then end catch block okay and then put everything inside okay let us just run it select from student okay and check the message as well so what happened i could not insert it why because there is violation of id constraint which is a primary key okay so is this clear transaction is rolled back now let us put this inside the procedure create 
create procedure. Procedure name is say insert insert procedure. Okay. The variables are ID, which is integer, and parameters and name, which is a where char. Okay. Now as begin the procedure begins here. Here ID and name are supplied externally to the procedure. Right? If everything goes well, commit transaction. If there is a problem from insert statement itself, it goes to catch block. There, message error message to be printed. And then here you end the procedure. After the procedure, Try to execute it. Execute for the procedure name insert insert procedure. And what are the values? Uh, values are say ID is two. And name is Priya. Okay. First of all, let us execute or create the procedure. Not execute, create the procedure. Insert procedure is already there. So let us give a different name. Say procedure PRD1. Procedure PRD1. PRD1. Okay. Now let us implement it, uh, uh, create it. Procedure is created. Now execute the procedure. Is this clear? No. Let us give ID three and execute it. Pro is created. What is that pro? In case of error, procedure uh, transaction is rolled back. If there is no error, transaction is committed. Is this clear? So in this example, you have seen three things. One is how to create a procedure, procedure, procedure name, parameters. Procedure is inside begin and block. Then try block and catch block in try block in try block we started transaction. If insertion is well, transaction is committed. If there is error, it goes to catch block where transaction is rolled back. Is this clear? So I hope you understand it. Like the video and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.